Tiger Force Bazooka comes packaged in the G.I. Joe Classified window box. In the top left hand corner you have the Easter Ages 4 and up. The top right hand corner has a choking hazard warning. You have a window that shows the figure and all of its accessories. You have the Tiger Force logo. Some artwork depicting Bazooka. You have the G.I. Joe Classified logo. Bazooka's name. And the Hasbro logo in the bottom right hand corner. The right hand side panel continues the artwork that features Bazooka. And here's a shot of the completed work. The back of the box features the artwork that is shown on both the Python Patrol and Tiger Force figures. The top of the box has the G.I. Joe classified star and indicates that he's the 54th figure in the line. The standard version of Bazooka comes in a plastic free box. In the top left hand corner it indicates that he's for children ages 4 and up. In the top right hand corner you have a choking hazard warning. You have the great artwork that's a repaint of the Tiger Force version's artwork. Plus you have a picture of the figure on the side. And you have the G.I. Joe Classified series logo, the character's name, and the Hasbro logo in the bottom right hand corner. The right hand side of the box features more of the artwork. The back of the box has Bazooka's name at the top. You also have the G.I. Joe Classified Star, a picture of Bazooka all geared up. You have a picture of Bazooka with his measurements at 6.39 inches and all of his accessories. You also have his G.I. Joe Classified files, the Hasbro logo, and the G.I. Joe.com web address. The left hand side of the box features Bazooka's G.I. Joe classified files and it indicates that he's the 62nd figure in the series and has the G.I. Joe logo at the bottom. The top of the box has the G.I. Joe star and indicates that he's the 62nd figure in the series. Inside the box, Bazooka is attached via paper ties to this cardboard tray. You also have this blue cardboard footlocker with Bazooka's name and number on it, and inside of that you have the baggie with all of its accessories. Let's decode Bazooka's classified files. His role is Ordnance and he's level 3. His gear is Launcher and he's a level 4. His skill is Explosives and he's a level 1. And his mastery is Anti-Armor and he is a level 3. <laughs> Bazooka is a good looking figure both ways. Starting with the Tiger Force version and we're going to go through a lot of the sculpt on this figure since they do share a sculpt. The face looks very Bazooka. He of course has dark hair and the Tom Selleck mustache just like you would expect. He's got a look on his face that you'd expect Bazooka to have on his face honestly. I don't know how else to describe that. Moving down you can see that the body is one of the muscular body types which is good for Bazooka. He's wearing his classic football jersey. The Tiger Force version has the white jersey with the red numbers with blue outlines. He has great muscular definition on his arms. He has green wristbands on both wrists. The pants are the dark olive. They have the Tiger Force stripes. You have pockets on the front and on the side, but there are no pockets on the back. You can see seams though and creases as well on the uniform. His belt and boots are both brown. The belt has a silver buckle and the belt is a web belt that has the holes all the way around with two pouches on either side. The standard issue bazooka has the red jersey with the blue numbers and the white outline. He also has a darker brown belt but it still has a silver buckle and his pants are a little bit of a different color of green. It's still, you know, of course the same sculpt and his boots are a more gray color. 
This is one of the more iconic Joes and one of the ones that I always look forward to getting in the line when it comes out. I'm really thrilled that we have it in Classified. Of course, he's one of the famed class of 1985. The figure looks great. Couldn't be happier. Okay, let's take a look at Bazooka's articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Plus, he has the extra neck joint that gives you a little bit more movement. Arms rotate 360 degrees. Plus, they're hinged to move up and down with the shoulders. You have a shoulder joint on both sides. Bicep swivels. Double jointed elbows. Wrists rotate. Plus, they move up and down. You have a torso joint that gives you a full 360 degree range of motion. And you have a waist swivel as well. Legs move forward, out to the side. You have thigh swivels. Double jointed knees. Calf swivels. Ankles are hinged to move up and down. Plus they rotate a full 360 degrees. And that is the articulation for your G.I. Joe classified bazooka. Both bazookas have the same gear. They're just in a different color scheme. The original color scheme bazooka has a green helmet with a gray strap and the Tiger Force version has a red helmet with a brown strap. Of course, both of these fit on the head of their figures. Both of these, of course, come with the rocket launcher. The Tiger Force version is a little bit of a darker green. They are both two pieces. The back of the rocket launcher comes off so you can load a rocket into it. Both of these also come with rockets. The Tiger Force version's rockets are a deeper green. And the standard version of Bazooka has two different painted rockets. One is painted like a warhead, and the other one has jaws and an eye painted on it. They both also come with backpacks. Of course, like everything else, the Tiger Force version has a deeper green. You can also stow the rockets and the launcher on the backpack. This can be put on his back via the peg that goes into the back hole. One, this gives us one of the more iconic Joes in classified form. Two, he comes with a bunch of cool gear. And three, he has a lot of colors that really pop. One, the rocket launcher is made out of very flimsy plastic and bends out of shape too easily. What? Two, he should have come with a rifle or a handgun for when he's not blowing up tanks. What? Lastly, no web gear means the backpack's just kind of hanging on the back of his jersey. What? So that's my review of the G.I. Joe Classified Bazooka and G.I. Joe Classified Bazooka Tiger Force. What do you guys think about these figures? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Ring that notifications bell and you'll never miss another video from Old School Toys. Thanks so much and yo, yo. yo. yo.